Okay, so let's say you've watched our other video on how to make a macchiato or a cappuccino with one of these little home machines and you realize it's not that complicated, I can do it. Well now your number one challenge is how do I get the foam thick and creamy like we get at Starbucks or at your favorite coffee shop? Well, it's not that hard to do. You just need to check four different things and in this video I'm going to take you through step by step to the four things to check to get perfect foam. Underneath the snorkel on your machine is the end of the metal nozzle and you can unscrew that. Take that off. You might need to use some pliers and make sure that the little hole at the end isn't plugged. You can stick a pin in there to make sure that the steam can get out of there. Then make sure you have a snorkel. It consists of three parts. It's got the rubber part that slips on there. It's got the little metal tube part that goes in there. And then it's got a little plastic tip that also has a tiny hole in the end. And you may want to poke a pin in that to make sure that that's not clogged and that's letting air come through. So you just put that all back together when you're done. Make sure you grind your coffee fine enough. I've tried a number of different grinders, uh, a cheap blade grinder, and then we went to a burr grinder. Several of those burned out. I've been really happy with this KitchenAid blade grinder. You can read about it on the blog. But the main point is to get your coffee ground as finely as possible. It needs to be almost powdery so that you can really pack it in there. The reason you want fine coffee is so that you can pack it as firmly as possible into the basket. And once you've dumped it in there, really press it down and pack it down. This will give you better pressure with your steam, which will give you better foam. Make sure the milk is deep enough. When I make foam in the cup for macchiatos, I fill them up about a third of the way full. So there's plenty of room to form foam beneath the surface. Make sure you wait long enough in the coffee making process. Your best pressure is near the end and that's when you're going to make your best foam. And there's the foam you want. Make sure you've done these four things and you're going to have foam that is thick enough to lay on. 